Hello beautiful people. I'm Chris Maddox. I'm the founder of the Wild Woman Project and Wild Woman Fest. And I'm speaking to you today because I always speak to you at new moon time. And the new moon is upon us. So the new moon arrives on Sunday, July 23rd and initiates a moon cycle which will last all the way until August 20th. So we have essentially this period of time which can act like a chapter of our lives. So at the new moon, we sort of have the opportunity to enter this new chapter with a level of awareness and just acknowledging that, oh, something, something new is happening here. And I know that because I'm looking up at the sky and I see it's new moon time, which means there's literally like no visible moon in the sky. She's really hiding back behind, behind it. And so that acknowledgement of a chapter in our lives in sync with something that is happening in nature and something that's happening specifically with the moon is a really, really sweet way to harmonize um, your own life and your own awareness with the cycles of nature, which have so many benefits. So each new moon at the Wild Woman Project, we call in kind of a new theme, a new exploration. And our exploration for this new moon is inspired by the astrological sign of Leo, where this new moon falls. And just a fun fact, it's the first of two back-to-back -back new moons in Leo which is a kind of a rare thing. It just happens every few years, you'll have two new moons in a row that have the same sign. So I think that's a point, you know, of significance that we're gonna be sort of learning um, in this archetype for two whole moon cycles. How amazing. So this first theme uh, and this first moon cycle, we are going to be exploring what it means to love ourselves and focusing specifically on self-love, right? And I wanna start this conversation with some words from my favorite, one of my favorite authors, Anne Lamott. She says, while fixing and saving and trying to rescue is futile, radical self-care is quantum. And it radiates out from you into the atmosphere like a little fresh air. It's a huge gift to the world. When people respond by saying, well, isn't she full of herself? Just smile obliquely like Mona Lisa and make both of you a nice cup of tea. Being full of affection for one's goofy, self-centered, cranky, annoying self is home. It's where world peace begins. And I start with that one because it addresses two things. Number one, the beauty, the power of what it is to kind of like unconditionally love our self, our our paradoxical self, like our wonderful, brilliant, <laughs> mean, awful, you know, our, the, the wholeness of who we are. And she really puts it in this context of like, it's, there's, it's quantum and it's powerful. And it's a place, you know, where she says world heal, uh, world peace begins. So the importance is there. And it also kind of points out a lot of the judgment that we either hear externally or carry inside of ourselves, which says like, who are they to love themselves so very deeply? There are quite a few sort of concepts which have been kind of heard around spiritual circles and personal development circles that have just been maybe overused to the point where we actually can't hear or understand them or, or feel the full, uh, you know, radiance, uh, expansiveness of what they actually are. And self-love, I think, is one of these words. 
you know, we hear it, self-love, self-love, self-love. What does it mean? What does it mean? You know, it, and it, it, it can for some of us, and I know this is certainly true for me, can become like a shallow phrase. But I want us to take some time to really understand what, what that phenomenon is, to love oneself. One of the easiest ways to feel into it is, I want you to right now um, imagine someone that you love unconditionally. And just bring them into your mind and see if you can allow yourself to actually experience that love that you have for that person. The experience of unconditionally loving someone. It's a, it does something to us, it changes us. It works on us. It affects us, it drives us. And you know, it fundamentally uh, nourishes us to love someone. And so, if you think about that kind of love that you feel for that person, and you really see, like, what would happen if I could cultivate those feelings of love for myself that I could somehow some way uh, look into my own eyes and see this amazing being and of course this very flawed creature just like every other human being is, you know and what would happen if we could look ourselves in the eyes and with the deepest amount of respect feel that stream of love. So that's what's available to us really at any time. And when we love ourselves, truly, we can be all of those things that this archetype of the Leo embodies, you know, courageous, creatively expressive, unafraid of leadership and going for it. Like those, those are all like really Leo things. And self-love can be one of the foundational things that allows us to be able to do that, you know, to have the audacity to make things and the audacity to create and the audacity to express and, and you know, lead other people. Self-love is kind of like a requirement. <laughs> if we're going to do those things well. So something to think about in terms of, of how you can sort of work with it, this, this cycle, and how maybe that there's some sort of cosmic support uh, for us being that we have this new moon in Leo kind of kicking off this moon cycle. It's important, I think, to also call attention to the fact that Love for oneself allows us to do the very important loving of other people, our beloveds, our neighbors, those perceived enemies, the, you know, like that, that universal love, all manner of love requires first an ability to love oneself. M Maya Angelou, one of the great American poets um, wrote something I'd love to share with you. She says, I don't trust people who don't love themselves and tell me I love you. There is an African saying, which is, be careful when a naked person offers you a shirt. So if cultivating love in your life in terms of relationships with other human beings is something, human beings is something that you're wanting, that you're longing for, that you're developing, that you're cultivating. Start with self first. Start with a sincere love 
and a turning of your heart and mind toward, you know, acceptance of yourself, like radical acceptance. And so it's important to just kind of, um, at this new moon time, to sit with this idea. And if it's something you want to work with, it's something that as a community we're going to be exploring throughout the moon cycle together. So you can sit with this, you can meditate on it, you can dance with it, you can um, explore it. We have two big ways that you can explore this at new moon time. So this theme is the inspiration for all of the Wild Woman Project circles that are happening around the globe right now. At this time, there's new moon circles gathering and each circle leader is a trained facilitator and she guides you in her own way through this exploration of what is self-love. And if you check the link below this video and you're unable to find a circle near you, you can download your new moon companion and that's a digital retreat, you and me, I'll lead you through a, a deeper look at this topic, a talk, a meditation, and you'll receive a dream sheet, so a place where you can create powerful intentions for this cycle ahead. So you'll have, you have those two avenues to begin to explore this. And anytime you take action to care for yourself, that is an act of self-love. That is love in action. So I encourage you uh, to explore this today on the new moon or near the new moon and to join us in sort of exploring this side by side uh, together as a community, our grapplings with it, you know, the challenges around it, practices around it. We'll be sharing all of those things in Wild Woman Weekly-ish and in our social media streams. So. Um, be sure you stay connected and we can support each other through the entirety of this moon, cy moon cycle. So if you're feeling like a radical act of self-care and self-love, tomorrow, July 24th, is the very last day to claim your tickets to Wild Woman Fest, which happens at the very beginning of August. This is... Um, one of the greatest uh, gifts that you could give yourself. And we're in our fourth year, so I can kind of say that because we've all been there a few times and it's become a home for so many of us and a, a landing spot and a place to really, really practice, practice self-love and self-care together. So if you're into that, go to wildwomanfest.com and claim your seat. I am wishing you a love-filled exploration today and throughout the moon cycle and as always i'll see you over at the wild woman project